year, the people of South Korea refused to allow a corrupt criminal to stay as president of their country. So they took to the streets in peaceful, organized protest. Now she's in jail. If you truly don't want a heartless embarrassment to continue representing America, together we can do what South Korea did. Here's how a South Korean described it. We came every weekend for over six months. Three generations of family members came together. People stayed at the end and cleaned up after each protest. It was peaceful and dignified and it worked. The president was impeached and is now in prison. Maybe you sort of don't like Donald Trump, but you're okay with him being in office for another three years. Maybe you're kind of upset that he's already done away with regulations to protect our rivers and our air and our earth, and that his attorney general is working every day, right now as we breathe, to take away your freedom. But you're not really upset about the damage he's doing to our planet for your grandchildren and their children to actually do anything about it. Or maybe you believe that posting memes on Facebook and telling all your friends how evil you think Donald Trump is, or that signing petitions and making phone calls and sending faxes at your representatives in Congress throw in the trash and doing your part. Well, it's not. Donald Trump is under pressure from all sides, and those who know him well believe he is very close to resigning. But only if concerned Americans like you and I do not let up. We must keep applying pressure and give Congress, Republicans and Democrats alike, the cover they need to help us. Like the fearless Americans who yelled shame at Mike Pence when the Republicans tried to take away our health care in the middle of the night and gave John McCain the support he needed to stop them from killing the Affordable Care Act. You have a choice. You can sit at home and tell everyone how angry you are, or you can actually do something that can be proud of for the rest of your life. You can tell your grandchildren that you helped America get rid of Donald Trump. Please join us in Washington, D.C. on October 29th and give the world the message that America belongs to us.